Fellas, 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 what is going on today, fellas? So, today's video, I wanted to show you a fast and easy way, or probably the easiest way to evolve all of these Evo cards that are required for Brook Lopez and Rajon Rondo, which eventually would lead you to getting Pink Diamond Elgin Baylor. So, for those of you who are going for Elgin Baylor, I think this video should definitely help you out. So, yeah, we're going to get started. And I'm going to show you what you got to do because I haven't evolved all of them yet. But I just started to use this method yesterday on stream. And uh, I can already see it being very effective, okay? So, what you want to do is you want to make a whole, whole new lineup, all right? And obviously, you're going to see I have mine right here. This is my lineup of all my Evo players. And the ones that I'm working on, right? And for the most part, I'm just going to focus on one of them at a time while I'm doing this method, but you wanna have them all in the game at the same time. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a lineup, choose 10 players that you wanna evolve, you know, and then go ahead and start up a rookie, not rookie, start up, go to domination and then go to current domination and you wanna go up against like one of the worst teams. So I was I'm, I was just going up against like the Knicks, you go up against the Cavs. Uh, this is not gonna make much of a difference. You wanna do the pro difficulty game, the one star game. They, they took away rookie difficulty, so you're going to have to do it on pro. And, um, yeah, and basically you just want to do whatever requirements you have. So I'll go here to the requirements. And here we are at the requirements, right? So, for example, Nicolo Melli. I have to score 60 points with him and make 10 three-pointers. This man has like a 70-something three-pointer. You know how hard that is going to be, especially in this game with the shooting. You know how hard that's going to be for you to actually knock down three-pointers with him in like an actual game. If it was like TTO or anything else. That's like near near impossible. It'll take you forever. So don't even do it. You can get it done in one game, maybe two games of pro domination. And then after you finish that, you might get the 10 three-pointers in one game. You, then, then you could just focus up on the 60 points. And maybe you're working on like you want to get other things simultaneously. So Patrick McCall, you have to get four steals with him. You can go for steals on the defensive end while you're trying to get, you know, threes or, you know, scoring with Nicolo Melli or anyone else. And then you have to make three-pointers with this guy and assists with this guy. So obviously you can get assists while you're, you know, shooting threes by just passing the ball to the guy who you're going to shoot with and, you know, trying to set up the guy for assists. Quinn Cook needs assists. A lot of these guys need threes, assists. Some of these guys need rebounds like Bruno Fernando. So that's, that can, you can get that done naturally on the offensive or defensive end. You can get rebounds. So make sure you're going to have in five players who you can do kind of like everything with. So, and if, like this guy needs dunks, Darius Baisley. That's going to be pretty easy. You can actually do that in TTO if you really want to. That's not too hard. But for the most part, you want to get like throw in players that need different requirements. So at different positions. So let's say, for example, I'm going to have in one guy who can shoot threes who or, or not who can, but whose requirement is to shoot threes. So I'll have Nicolo Melli at the power forward center to shoot threes. Then I might have Patrick McCaw at the small forward um, in order to get steals. And now I want to get, I want to also have somebody who's going to get assists. So maybe I'll have Quinn Cook starting, right? Um, and then at the shooting guard position, I might have someone who does something else. Let me see. There might not be anything, any other categories for me to really do. Yeah. So if I'm going to, for the shooting guard, I'm, I'm probably just going to put in, put in another guy who needs like steals or something. So for example, let me see. Uh, I think I saw somebody here who needed steals. If it's not steals, then you can do, or I can run Patrick McCall at the shooting guard, and then I can have a small forward, maybe like, uh, I don't know, someone else right here, Nasir Little. I can run him at the small forward, have him get steals, right? You know, so basically you just want to switch it up. And then for my center, I can run uh, this guy right here, Daniel Gafford, who I need to block 10 shots with. Very difficult. I know some of you guys have to get the blocks with Claxton and Gafford as well. Claxton needs five. I, I struggled with that. I did that in Interpreter in Online. And it was very tough, man. So I ended up, you know, switching over to here on Domination to do it this way. And it turned out to be a lot easier. So definitely you want to use this method. And I'm going to show you like little, I'm going to show you in game what, what it's going to end up looking like when you actually do this. So it, you can be effective. So as you can see, I need 13 more points um, with, with this dude, Nicolo Melli. And they won three point. I'll get that done in one game. After that, I'm going to start to work on probably, I, I usually just like to go like by order, but you can really do in whatever order you want. I might just do Patrick McCall's points and then do and try to work on his steals while I work on someone else's rebounds and, you know, things like that. So let's take a look at my lineup if it's even optimized for that. I know Quinn Cook needs assists. Shake Milton needs threes. Patrick McCall needs steals. Nicolo Melli needs threes. And then Daniel Gaffer needs blocks. 
I don't remember what Aaron Holiday, Dante Exum, Cody Martin, Al Farouk, and Minu. I think Al Farouk needs steals. Bruno Fernando needs rebounds. Cody Martin needs assists. Dante Exum needs, I think, threes. Aaron Holiday, I'm not exactly sure. But if you don't know exactly what you need, what you can do, there's this website. It's called uh, 2K Gamer. And I can have the link in the description for it if you really want to check it out. But it basically shows the Evo players and their requirements. Now, for some reason, not all of the guys are on here. So maybe if you want to like remember what you have to do, maybe like take a picture on your phone or on your PlayStation, screenshot it or Xbox or whatever, and just, you know, have it on so where you can look at it during the game. But if not, you can just go on that website and see what, what players requirements they do have so you don't have to memorize it, you know? So yeah, that's my tips to you, man. We're going to get into the game and I'm going to show you exactly how to, how to do this thing. All right, so we did just start up the game here. And, you know, as you can see, we are um, playing against the Knicks. Now, if I need, like I said, I need steals with Patrick McCall. I need four steals. This is pro difficulty. I don't know how hard it is. Can, how, how, man, I can't even talk, bro. How hard it will be to get steals because I haven't tried so. But I will just continue reaching with Patrick McCall. Now, I am going to focus on these threes with Melly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up and I'm going to set a screen, right? Just to give myself a little bit of separation. And then I'm going to pull it. And it's cash. And he has like a 70-something three ball, okay? Now, you want to try to get those shots wide open because... Because with the low three ball, he is not going to make everyone. I happen to make that one. He can make them a decent amount of times. And I think that was the last three I actually needed. So I think I just need, what, uh, 10 more points with him or something. So we're, what we're going to do now is I'm just going to finish off his Evo. And we're just going to, like, attack the basket or whatever. Or actually, we're going to do some pick and roll. That's the easiest way to score. Because this guy, you know, this guy cannot get open. This guy's a bum, bro. He's an emerald player. There we go. We're going to run some pick and rolls, get some easy layups. And one and yeah so that's what you want to do man focus on one player at a time once you have that player's requirements done then move on to the next player and you have a whole 30 minute game of domination to get as much done as possible you know so when when i'm using patrick mccall trying to get those steals i'm literally just gonna leave my man open i'm just run towards the guy with the ball and just press square to try to get a steal because really you're not playing this to win whether you win or lose makes no influence on the game so it doesn't matter because you're playing these for evos not for winning so it doesn't matter so we're gonna set the screen again call for for nicolo melli to come and can you set a better screen than that we're gonna try that again come on bro you got to do better than that bro send me a good screen fool all right yeah there we go now roll and let me get a nice layup okay maybe not he, he missed okay but you get the point he's not gonna score every time I don't even need that many points with him. So if I want, I, I could just continue to shoot threes and, and I can get my points that way. It doesn't matter, but do whatever you want. However you want to score, absolutely do that. Hold on, let me try to get this steal right here. Come on. Yeah, you see, I'm going to... Oh, he's shooting, he's shooting. But yeah, right now would be a good time to have somebody who gets rebounds in, but I am trying to get those blocks with Gafford. So I'm really not focusing on that. I'm going to pull this. 35% covered, not the greatest shot. Probably should have... You know set for a screen to get me a little bit more open and after i finish off these these threes i'm gonna sub in the guy who needs the rebounds he is on my bench right now oh yeah we're taking this all the way lay me okay i'll take the free throws i'll absolutely take those so yeah i'm gonna sub in the guy who needs the the rebounds and then we're just gonna go for rebounds with that guy and i'm just gonna score with i don't know maybe patrick mccall because i want to get him out the way just like i said focus on one guy and then um, the rest will be will be easy. Now I am gonna try to do some pick and rolls with uh, Quick Quinn Cook and my big man Nicolo Melli because, like I said, I do need assists with Quinn Cook. As you can see, I already have one so far. So what I, like basically your goal is to optimize what you're gonna do within the game, and basically you just want to try to get as much done as possible. That's what the word optimize means for those who may not know. So try to get as much done as possible within a game. Try to be as efficient as you can. Get a lot of these done. You see, I'm going to try to get an assist right here with Quinn Cook if I can. I'm going to send Nicolo Melli on a cut to the basket. Let me see if he gets that nice cut animation. Okay, he didn't. It didn't work out. He didn't cut the way I wanted him to. I'm going to run a pick and roll just so I can get that assist. Hopefully, he rolls properly and sets me a good screen. There we go. And there we go. Nice assist. And we got a basket with Nicolo Melli. And I think we need like three more points with him. And then that's it. So, and then he's done with the Evo. And then I would be able to... um switch over to the next guy and make sure guys you want to have your substitutions on manual as well if you uh, just go here to uh game plan and then you go to coach settings mine are on manual because you want to make sure that you're using the guys that you want and they don't get subbed out and you know and then you know you don't waste any time during the game so yeah that's my method fellas it's on pro difficulty that's for the threes um also you can try to go for the blocks too 
Oh, wait, with Gafford and Claxton. If you want to try to do that too, let me see if I can go in right here. Come on. Oh, you're not. Mitchell Robinson shooting threes. Funny man, bro. Funny man. Anyways, guys. Um, Yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Oh, let me pull this. Cash. Let's go. Anyways, yeah. Um, We're on the road to 40K. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. If it was helpful, hit that like button on the video and subscribe, man. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.